In this video, I'm going to talk about or discuss about nature of roots in a quadratic equation. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, let me draw an axis. So, this is a y axis and this is the x axis. So, a quadratic a quadratic equation, when you graph a quadratic equation, it will be a parabola. So, yeah, this is a parabola. So, here, yeah, this parabola has got two roots. Okay, so, this is one root. Okay, so, you can say this is R1, your first root, and this is your second root. So, this is one possibility that a quadratic equation has two roots. What's the second possibility? Second possibility can be it may have only one root. Okay. Uh, uh, let me go back. Uh, it may have only one root. So let me again draw a parabola. This is, say, if you have a parabola like this, say something like this, it's just touching the x-axis so it has got only one root okay and what's the third possibility you can now uh, understand where I'm going so this is this this has got only one root say so this is your r1 and here if you think about it it'll be having if you have a, a parabola can also be like this where this is a vertex and this is not intersecting the x-axis anyway. So this does have a y-intercept. Okay, this does have a y-intercept. This ha has a y-intercept. But this doesn't have an x-intercept. So you can say here there are no roots. So here you can say no roots. Here you can say there are two roots. Okay. And here you can say there is only one root or unique root. You can understand this graphically, but let us see algebraically. That means if you have a quadratic equation by just looking at it, by doing a little of calculation, can you decide whether or tell the nature of roots, whether you have one root or, or whether you've got one root or two root or no root or zero root. Okay. So let us look at the algebra. So now this is called a quadratic equation. You should be knowing this. A general form of a quadratic equation is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. This is a general form of any quadratic equation where a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and c is called the constant. So this is the quadratic formula. Now if you look at the quadratic formula, a, b, c are all real numbers. Now, this is a very crucial part of the quadratic formula. This is called the determinant. Let me use a big word, determinant. Now, why is it used? Why does it have this big name, determinant? Because it determines the nature of root. So, this is also used uh, for this whole thing. They also, in maths, in some textbook, they use this letter delta which is b squared minus 4ac. Okay, so in place of writing b squared minus 4ac, you can write delta, okay, or which is also the determinant. Okay, now why is that important? Now, you need to listen to the argument very carefully. So, b squared minus, if a, b, c are real numbers, I just say that a, b, c are real numbers. Okay, real numbers are all numbers that you have learned other than complex numbers. I'll not go into complex numbers. So all uh, natural numbers, whole numbers, fractions, decimal, recurring numbers, all numbers that you know other than complex numbers are real numbers. Okay. So if A, B, C are real numbers, can I say B squared minus 4AC is also real number, is also a real number. And if it's a real number, there are three different possibilities. Okay, so let me scroll up. So I can say this is, there are three different possibilities. Now you may wonder which are the three different possibilities. One possibility is b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero. That means it's positive. 
or you can say b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0 or b squared minus 4ac is there is no other way in which these this real number can exist one is either this is positive okay that's very logical either it is positive or if this is this means it is negative or it is zero okay so any number under the face of the sun any number has to be either negative sorry a, a zero negative or positive okay so we're not going into complex numbers now so <coughs> yeah so here if it's positive if it's positive this will have two roots okay because if this is positive you will have uh, okay so let me discuss each argument so x would become x is minus b you will have plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a so this will lead you to give you how many roots two roots because you will have two answers of x okay now if it is equal to 0 let me draw a line like this if it is equal to 0 what will happen x is equal to this is equal to 0 so this doesn't play any role so what will happen what will happen x will, x will become minus 2 over a will, you'll have only one root so here we can say that's only one root now this is the most interesting thing what happens if it's a negative number okay now if it's a negative number square root of a negative number negative number in real numbers is not defined okay, you can't find square root of a negative number why because see square root of 25 you should know is plus or minus 5 okay why because plus 5 squared is 25 or minus 5 squared is 25 but if someone is asking you what is square root of minus 25 in real numbers not possible or not defined okay because you cannot find two numbers which when you multiply gives you negative number because when you multiply two numbers two identical numbers they will always multiply to be positive I'll show you on a calculator if my calculator or one in real mode so say square root of minus 25 there is no real okay no real error so there's an error okay so you can't find square root of a negative number and so as you cannot find the square root of a negative number there are no roots so here from this branch I can say there are no roots so let me go back to the graph so here, by just looking at the equation and only working with b squared minus 4ac, in this case, this is b squared minus 4ac, in this case, would be less than 0, when there are no roots. In this case, b squared minus 4ac would be greater than 0, and in this case, b squared minus 4ac would be equal to 0. Okay, hopefully this video has been helpful. You can make some example and calculate this determinant and see uh, how it works. Okay, and you will find that if this is satisfied, so let me uh, give you an equation. Suppose, let me give you this. Suppose, let me make up an equation. Say, change colors. Uh, y is equal to, say, x squared minus 5x. Um, plus 5x minus 1 okay uh, minus say 10 let me make it 10 yeah okay so let's see I'll show you on a calculator this okay what is uh, I don't have space here so can I delete this okay so let me show you this so let us find b squared minus 4ac and then I'll show you graphically so b squared delta which is b squared minus 4ac which is 
25, B is 5, so it's 25, minus 4 times, 1 times, let me make this plus 10, okay, 10, okay, so this is delta is 25 minus 40, which is negative, and uh, this, when you graph this, okay, let me show you on a calculator, x squared plus 5x plus 10, okay, so this is a calculator, go to graph and type in x squared plus 5x, 5x plus 10, okay, okay, I have to change the scale, make it bigger and see what happens, here we go, so here this graph, this parabola doesn't intersect the x-axis and if you go g solve root not found. Okay, hopefully this video has been helpful. See you in the next one.